Hi, Dr. Camp here. I'd like to talk today about the kinetic chain. Uh, oftentimes people will buy orthotics to try to affect the kinetic chain and they don't necessarily understand what it is or how they're affecting it with the orthotics. So I'd like to run you through what happens in the lower extremity when we're walking, when we're running, and then have you sort of get a better comprehension of what it is we're trying to work with. Basically people talk about being pronators or supinators. You are supposed to pronate and supinate. This is an important part of the gait. When you land on your heel strike and you roll into flat foot and then toe off, you're actually going through the phases of pronating and supinating. And if you don't do this, joints above and below will actually start to have trouble. So let's start by looking at the ankle. If you do this to yourself, you'll really get a good comprehension of what I'm talking about. Put your index finger and thumb on either side of the joint. Press upwards with your hand and as you move your ankle side to side you'll actually feel bone popping under the index, popping under the thumb, popping under the index and at some point there's a neutral spot where you don't feel bone on either side. This is called subtalar neutral. Our goal when we're making orthotics is to have you in subtalar neutral. Why do we have you in subtalar neutral? Allow me to introduce Skinny, my assistant. If you look at the knee there's basically a cam surface, one on either side. These cam surfaces are different dimensions. One is longer than the other. If in fact the knee moves through its 90 degrees of flexion and extension, the size differential from one side to the other means that the tibia is traveling farther on one side than the other, which causes tibial rotation on the femur. The reason we pronate and supinate is to accommodate that tibial rotation. If we interfere with pronation and supination by stopping it, tibial rotation is then affected. Thank you, Skinny. Appreciate the help there, brother. As we move up, we talk about the hips. The hips have to evert and antivert, and if they don't, low back does not flex from side to side. So, this is how, if in fact we interfere with any joint in that kinetic chain, the joints above and below aren't doing what they're supposed to do. That will have deleterious effects on both ends of the kinetic chain. That is how orthotics can oftentimes help people with chronic low back problems. So, if you're going to go out there and get yourself some orthotics, do not get ones that interfere with pronation and supination. So I do not recommend the rigid hard orthotics that don't allow normal gait motion. Why? The bones above and below are going to become involved and have issues. Thanks for watching.